the tragic backstory of Freddy Krueger and how he became the Nightmare Demon. On September 2nd, 1938, Freddy was born in Springwood, Ohio. He was conceived in a way that I can't describe on TikTok, but let me just tell you it was tragic. A few years after that, he was adopted by a man named Mr. Underwood, who happened to be an alcoholic. After years of constant abuse, Freddy snapped, unaliving his stepfather. After a few years of therapy, he then got married and had a daughter. But for some reason, the urge to kill just never went away. And that's where he became the Springwood Slasher, unaliving more or less anyone in his path. Though he wasn't caught until 1986, where his wife Loretta went down into the basement and saw all of his torture devices. Freddy then snapped on her too, strangling her in front of his daughter who later told the police who he was and what he was doing. Freddy was then arrested and put in jail, but that didn't last very long because the police that went inside of his house didn't actually have a search warrant, meaning that everything and anything that they found didn't matter in court because he was able to beat the case, because obviously they didn't have a search warrant. Once everyone found out who Freddy was, they devised a plan to unalive him, making sure he could never hurt children again. He poured gasoline all over his house while he was in jail, and once he returned, the parents lit the house on fire, burning him alive. It stated as Freddy was burning, he saw three serpents come out of nowhere, offering him the power to become the Nightmare Demon. And obviously, he took it. With that new power, he was able to make dreams a reality, meaning that when you pass in your dreams, you pass in real life. And that, my friends, is the full backstory of Freddy Krueger. Comment down below who you guys want me to do next, and follow for more.